Been live for like two minutes, bro. Oh, so you lied to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. How? I'm sick of this How shit. did I lie? What's going on, y'all? Self Out Junction. It's your boy, Sean. And this is my co host, Alter Shino. Uh, we couldn't have Long Excuse me. or Anthony here today. Excuse me. Can I just say something? Stop <laughs> Stop putting Alter in front of my name because niggas in the streets really think Alter is my first name. I don't know, and I'm going to talk to my live right quick. I don't know what the fuck wrong with y'all to make y'all think my mom would name me Alter as a first fucking name. Stop it. It's not my name. All right? Shino will do. Alter Ego, man. That's just Sasha Fierce. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You about to piss me the fuck off. And today we got a special guest. So today we have (coughs) Javon sitting in on the podcast uh, in place of the other two. So welcome, Javon. Happy to have you here, man. Appreciate you. you. Hey, so welcome, Javon. Thank you for having me on the show. You want to know what's great about this? This is the first time that Dark Skins is dominating this podcast. Let's give this shit a round I of gotta applause. Represent. We definitely do. We don't never get this opportunity. Good job, man. Congratulations. Hey, I'm Liv said hello, by the way. What's up? So, I'm going to get right into it. There's, there's some, some things I want to speak on. So, first first and foremost, no, first and foremost, um, I definitely want to say rest in peace to uh, Nipsey Hussle. Um, what happened to him was... Uh, definitely tragic, you know what I'm saying? And, Indeed. And it's something that, that shouldn't happen to somebody of his caliber and what he was doing in the community and all the things that he had going on. I mean, it was just, it, should've, it shouldn't have been him. So um, it definitely, definitely shocked me when I heard about it. Um, we was actually on the way back from Atlanta. Yeah, we were on the road. Yeah, and we had uh, heard about it, that he had been shot. Um, there weren't too many details at first, and then found out he got shot in the head and, you know, Typically, when you get shot in the head, that you don't really come back from that. So, I mean, we were hoping for the best, but unfortunately, he didn't make it, uh, as everybody knows. So, uh, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. But with that, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to just spearhead this just for a little bit. Hey, it's your Go show, baby. Do so, your thing. So, obviously, with Nipsey Hussle dying, he was working on um, a controversial documentary on somebody called Dr. Sebi. So, obviously, with a lot of things that happen there are conspiracies that, that are associated with them. So you're going to have, you know, people saying that the government did this, that, and the third. So let me let me just be clear with, with one thing. So first and foremost, I understand that the government is not, does not have the best track record. I get it. The government's done shady stuff in the past. They still do shady things to this day. However, everything that happens is not a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? And people happen to forget that all the time. So people, and, and honestly, let's be honest with ourselves. Conspiracies are based off of fear and they're based off of distrust. That's just what it is at the end of the day. For whatever reason, I'm not going to say for whatever reason, they have they have a bad track record. So obviously people are scared of the government. They're scared that there's some ulterior motive for you know people of color based off of history. I get it. I understand 110%. But what happened to Nipsey was not that. And when people talk about you know, the controversy behind it. I mean, the, the, the conspiracy has changed from different things and what people are associating with it. Like, first, they said, oh, the government killed him because of the Dr. Sebi documentary. First of all, the government allegedly killed Dr. Sebi. So if the government killed Dr. Sebi and they wanted to... Keep a low profile. Right. If they wanted why to, would they? Yeah. Why, why, would, why would they kill somebody that's writing a documentary about him? That's basically further incriminating themselves. They're basically right. saying, hey, by the way, we killed this guy and we killed this guy that's writing a documentary about him. We did it. Basically, that's what they're saying. You right. know what I'm saying? And and to further prove that point, his videos are still on YouTube. His teachings are still online. He still has merchandise that you can buy. Like, the like the, the information is not secretive. It's not private. Or yeah, you can like legit that. Google everything that this man researched. You can Google all that you stuff. You can Google bro. the trial. You can Google everything. Exactly. So there's that out there. <clears throat> and then to, to top it all off, when you take somebody of Nipsey Hussle's caliber and everything he was doing in the black community... The people that are on the side of the controversy where they're saying that the government killed him because he's leading cultural enlightenment and black empowerment and all that stuff. Why would you kill somebody that's doing that? Because the people, because I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Black people really don't give a fuck about a lot of stuff. People are too wrapped up in their own lives to get to, to get this stuff together and to focus on one specific message and move in one direction. I'm not saying it's impossible, but with this day and age, that's just what it is. No, it's definitely a fact. Black people will rather negate themselves to the negativity and the drama and 
the love of hip hops and right. all of that type of shit instead of putting their mind towards something that can actually change anything like like I, the post I put up earlier like the reason why I made that post and a lot of people if you notice I never mention anything about myself in that post because I don't need to mention anything about myself because I everybody know who I am and they know what I do I promote it all the time right but I felt like there's not enough of even myself included I don't push the rest of these creators around here as much as I could but it was to at, at a certain point it was like why should I like right. they don't do it for me, so why should I do it for them? But now, like with that whole situation, is like, it's no point. Like maybe if I do it, the next person to do it, and the next person to do it, and the next person to do it. Exactly. It so, worked for that day, but you know, whatever. <laughs> like right. you know. So so the thing with Nipsey, everything that he was promoting and everything that he was doing, a lot of people didn't really care about because they wanted just you know what, we're gonna focus on hip hop, Nipsey. That's what we're gonna focus on. So now, when you kill him, you take away their hip hop. You bring attention to him as an individual. Everything else that, you yep. bring attention to everything he was doing. Now, in killing him, he becomes a martyr. Why would a government that is trying to rip, like oppress people do that? Because now yes. everybody's going to pay attention to that. Everybody's going to start trying to do that same thing. I know several people in Newport News alone that are trying to now get their money together and start purchasing stuff around Newport News and to actually start building up their own community. Yep. This is going to further broaden that spectrum, you know what I'm saying, by, by Nipsey Hussle's death. So that doesn't make any sense for the government to do that. And for them to think that the government will be stupid enough to do that doesn't make any sense because if the government is as witty and as secretive as they think they are. Facts. They don't. You don't think they would have accounted for this? You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is, that I think of what a lot of people, just for me reading other arguments that you have with other people on Facebook, I think what they're not reading is the fact that you are stating you understand, yes, the government does do some fucked up things at times. Like, probably seven times out of ten, the government is behind some of this shit. But for this particular one, you can't get mad at somebody for saying, I just don't feel that the government had anything to do with this. Like, if you look at it, yes, Nipsey Hussle was a gangbanger. If you can make the argument that Nipsey Hussle just may be just as big as a crip as Snoop Dogg is. Like, you can make that argument. Yeah. Like, so there's always a target on that man. And then on top of everything that he is doing for the community and all this, that, and the third, and on top of arguing with this man the day prior of his, uh, you know, his death or whatever the case may be, and Nipsey telling him, like, pretty much running him off the block, like, you mm. telling everybody that this man is a snitch or whatever the case may be, there's gang laws to that. Like, the only way that you can get your stripes back is doing what he did right. like but i also ha have seen a lot of other people that combat and say well he's a you know that he's a government informant so wouldn't that just make more sense that he killed him for the government no that makes absolutely no sense that right. would make him look more stupid because that means the government is paying him to have money that he'll never be able to spend because he's going to jail so that right. makes absolutely no sense and then people but to to counter that people say oh well how do you know he really went to jail well how do we really know six nines in jail Nobody's seen 6 9 in a prison uniform. Facts. I've not seen this man in a prison uniform. I haven't heard anything about him being in prison. The only thing I've heard about him is outside of his trial. Like, I mean, it's, it's confided to his trial. Right, that's right, the only, right. That's the only information I've heard about this man. You Facts. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's all kinds of things that we aren't going to see. And that's probably because we don't care to see. I guarantee if you go to that prison that he's being held at, I guarantee you can be like, hey, I want to see this dude. And they will bring him to the window so you can see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's more legalities and specifics. Yeah, right, 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 right. But right. That's, you get the point of what I'm saying. People aren't going to go out their way to actually prove what they're saying. They're just going to say it, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's definitely a fact. That's just kind of how the internet is. Right. No, like, it definitely is. Every time that any, like, anyone positive, black, white, anyone, anytime anyone positive decides someone wants to take their life, someone's going to blame it on the government. There's always a government conspiracy on no matter who it is. If they've done like one thing positive, Government right. conspiracy. If Jay Z were to die right now, government conspiracy. Or Illuminati, right? right. One. Or Illuminati, and and that's another good point. So, with the black empowerment, the cultural enlightenment, and all these things that Nipsey Hussle was was promoting, there is several other black artists that are doing this. Twenty One Savage, Jay Z, J Cole, Childish Gambino. You know what Kendrick. I'm saying? Kendrick <laughs> yeah. Lamar, Meek Mill. All these motherfuckers have been dead if that was the case. The government was really trying to silence people for that. They would have been dead, but the government doesn't give a fuck about that. What the government cares about 
It's shit that goes on overseas. What government cares about is the Snowdens that actually sell, you know, U.S. secrets that can actually be detrimental to the to the government, United States, militarily wise, and not only just militarily wise, you know, just intelligence with whatever we're working on. That's what they care about. They don't care about what's going on in the hood. And people act like violence doesn't happen in the hood. They're like, oh, well, it's easy to pin it on the hood. So if, if that's what you're going to say, you know what I'm saying? Like with the Eric Holder thing, they're like, oh, yeah, they arrest him. They found him. They put him in the car, right? They were like, oh, that's not him. The tattoos don't matter. Look, at the end of the day, you're going to believe what you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? I can show you all the facts in the world, and I can tell you all these things. But if you're, if you're that scared and you're that like paranoid in your mind, Nothing I say is going to convince you otherwise. You're always going to have that thought that the government is doing that. And that's perfectly fine. That's also the other side that I also want to touch on, too. Like, there's a couple of people in the live that's saying, like, you can't get mad at the people that are saying that the government is behind it. Nobody's mad. Nobody's mad about it. More more of my argument has been the people who are saying the government are, are calling me stupid for me having my beliefs. First of all, my beliefs, I don't care about either or whether the government did it. Or it was just an act of street for gang violence. I don't care about that. My concern was the fact that they had the audacity to do that shit in front of that man's child as a father. That's how I'm looking at that. Right. And either way, he's slum regardless because everybody know gang rule. No women, no children, bro. Like, he shouldn't have done that shit in front of no child, period. So either way, it was sloppy no matter how you look at it. Right. So that's that's my spectrum on it. I don't care about no government conspiracies and, conspiracies and all that. I never gave a fuck about none of that shit because at the end of the day... I don't allow the government to control my life, so I don't give a fuck. But that shit, the fact that his child has to bear witness to that shit probably for the rest of his life is just crazy to me. And that's that's the biggest thing. Yeah, Nobody's talking about up. that. Like, everybody's still talking about these conspiracies and all of that. Like, think about the big picture. Like, Lauren London lost her husband. Like, somebody lost their father. Like, multiple children lost their father. Nobody cares about this government conspiracy shit. If you want to talk about a government conspiracy, the gov- if, the, if you want to say the government did this for a reason, it's to distract motherfuckers from what the fuck is really going on from the world. Because that's exactly what the fuck this shit did. Like, right. nobody's talking about nothing else that's going on but this. Like, this man's life clearly was important. Because, like, bro, it's so many memorials that happened for that man. I've ne- I don't even think Michael Jackson had that shit, bro, honestly. I really right. don't think so. I don't think New York stopped. I don't think Virginia stopped. Like, nobody else stopped like they did for this man. So, it's like, clearly this man was bigger than what people, is, you know what I'm saying, they're saying it is. And it's sad you got yeah. people that's, like, clout, chas- clout chasing, like, future, for instance. That shit was just stupid. That like, pissed me off. That I'm shit, like, I don't know what the fuck idiot. he was even talking about. Like, right. I've never heard future doing anything for anybody, like, ever. So Molly Perkins said, that's it. Exactly. You know what I'm trap music. That's God blessing all the right. trap niggas. That's all I ever hear. <laughs> but, but nah, let me, let me be clear about that, though. I'm not... I'm not downing or trying to condescend anybody that believes that the government did it. But what I'm saying is use your best judgment and look at it rationally. Because when we talk about conspiracy, a lot of it is irrational. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that people try and and point to, they haven't done the due diligence of research on to see why that isn't the case. Or they haven't looked at all the possible venues of it. So looking at it holistically, it would make no sense for the government to do it, which is what I'm saying. To me... It wouldn't make sense for the government to do that. If you feel like that, that I'm not even gonna put a disclaimer out there. I don't give a fuck. If that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. You know right. what I'm saying? And I think that's where a lot of people is misguiding it, is that you're entitled to your opinion just like they're entitled to theirs at the right. end of the day. Like, but at the same time, if somebody's gonna bring an argument to you, you also have the right to argue your facts and what you feel is right as well. Right. So and it's just the, the fact <coughs> that the the things that Nipsey Hustle was promoting, though all of those things was a mindset. And he was the face of that mindset. You cannot kill a mindset. That's why I've been fighting terrorism since 2001. Because every time you kill out a terrorist organization, a new one pops up. Right. The first was Al-Qaeda. Then it was ISIS. Then it was ISIL. You know, it, it, it always changes a face. So the same concept here. Now that he's dead, his mind state is still out there. And people are going to adopt that mind state. You cannot kill a mind state, period. You know what I'm saying? So, no, thanks. I mean, that's... That's just what it is. At the end of the day, regardless of what side of the fence you are, in regards to whether it was conspiracy or not, we lost a great man at the end of the day. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, we got we gotta, to we gotta put our respects out there and we got to not let his death be in vain. We got to carry on that mind state that he had. So, um, I mean, that's really all I even want to say about that. I mean, I, I think I said my piece. 
No, no that's definitely you know, facts though. Like every, people, everybody gonna feel how they want to feel. I just feel like in the black community, it shouldn't take for us to lose a black leader or whatever you want to call it for people to be unified for forty eight hours. Because right. that's all it that's all it does. Like people be unified for forty eight hours, and we gonna do this. Let's support black businesses. Blah blah blah. They do that for two days, and then every biz, every other black business is going right back to what they were doing before, supporting themselves and promoting heavily, and right. to get nowhere at the end of the day. Like unfortunately, it's just how it go. Like I mean, other cities, and I'm just speaking for us personally in Virginia right now. Because if you go to Charlotte. Black businesses is booming out there, and it's for a reason. Because these niggas have realized something that I feel like a lot of other states haven't realized. No, that's facts. Hey, nobody's gonna support you but your own, and you have to do that, like constantly. You can't just do it just because we, because we lose Nipsey or because we lost Michael Jackson or like when that fucking never uh, leaving Neverland shit came out. I ain't never seen motherfuckers defend Michael like that, ever. But it unified black people for maybe twenty four hours, maybe like, and then that was that. Like it was mm-hmm. back to. Oh, I'm going to the alley on Wednesday, bitch. What you finna do? Like, the alley is yeah. if if the alley is a black business, that's the best black business that's booming in fucking Nupa News right now. I can guarantee you that. No, that's facts. Like <laughs> everyone knows what the alley is. Everybody know what the fucking alley is. Yeah. Even if you never been, you still know what the fuck it look like in that bitch. No, nah, that's that's facts, man. That's facts. The alley is definitely uh the place to be. I've never been, but I don't I plan on that. I've never stepped foot either, in that But I've heard their wings are fire. Yeah, I've heard you know the wings man? is fire. Let's let's go for some wings one day. I'm good. I'm with it. I'm good. Nah, because they. I think y'all they, bring me some back, bro. They don't even start the club up. I don't b- care until like later. I don't care. You know who I am. In the words of your boy, I gotta watch my back, nigga. I'm not just anybody. <laughs> that's your boy. Remember that. Hey man, whatever you say. So yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's it. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say on the Nipsey situation. No R.I.P. to Nipsey. I mean, he he was a, a huge influence for a lot of people. Um. You know, and he was he was one of the few people you can say was cool with Bloods and Crips and would have right. no problems. You know what I'm saying? So, and Shea said the wings ain't good there no more. So, oh, okay. Well, that's well, that's that's, that's that. a dead mission. And Shea, man. no. I believe it. She's an alley cat. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's so that's all I'm gonna say on that situation. Um, I think the the next thing we're gonna talk about and roll into is um. Chris Stapp Porzingis. So supposedly, allegedly, he had called this black woman his slave or something like that. I read that. it. I read it. Now, I don't. Can you give me some more information on it? Because I didn't really get like. See, I didn't read it. the whole thing because it was disgusting to read. Because it was it, the way how it was written, also. I, I, I should have looked up the Arthur, but the way how it was written was very all over the place. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really sure if it was like some type of rape thing going on and he was calling her his slave or if they were just on some dominatrix shit so that's so that's what i was thinking more along the lines of because i the dominatrix shit i mean or the yeah because i mean you got your you know quote unquote sex slaves not really a slave right they're not really literally your sex slave right that's you know something that flows that's some fetish that some people happen to have so that's what i'm thinking it might have been but um uh, so I'm reading up right here. It's saying uh, Mark Cuban, because I guess, yeah, because that's right. He signed with the Mavericks. With the so Mavs, yeah. Mark Cuban was saying he was urging people to use common sense with the Porzingis allegation. Um, I'm not I'm not too sure what, oh, hold on. Rape allegation services months after trade. So, so months later. So a rape allegation. Yeah, so months later came the public rape allegation. Porzingis stands <coughs> accused of sexually assaulting a woman in his New York home and offering her hush money payment of 68000 that he allegedly reneged on. And then uh, the Mavericks knew about the allegation when they traded for Porzingis. Oh, whether or not the Mavericks knew about the uh, allegation when they traded for Porzingis is unclear. Um, so, yeah, I mean. That doesn't really give much more information other than that. So yeah. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, man. But uh, hey, Chris Naps got to chill, bro. Who? Chris Naps. <laughs> Don't call me. That. <laughs> he got he got to chill, bro. Yeah. So I mean, that I, hopefully it's it's not true, but I mean, would you put we'll it see. past him though? Have you looked at him? Yeah, chill out. Have you man. looked at him honestly? He he looks a little rapish. Uh, he got a rape smile. Yeah. No, he has a rape haircut. He has a rape, oh, a rape haircut. Look at him; he has it. <laughs> yeah, he has a rape walk. He balls like a rape. I know person. about twenty percent of white people that have their haircut, man. 
<laughs> don't do this. What's the leading rapist? You know what? I'm not gonna do this. Don't do this. I'm man. not gonna do this. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how you ball like a rapist. Have you seen this nigga ball? All rapists can I ball. All what? Rapists can ball, bro. Name me one rapist that can't ball. Look him up. What you mean? Look I can't name a rapist. Look him up. <laughs> right. Like, look him up. I'll keep like a track of these. Hey look man. Up. Even alleged rapists. I'm, I'm sure R. Kelly can ball. Hell no. Nah. R. Kelly can't ball. That's Robert Kelly. I'm pretty sure all he can do is from sing. Chicago. I'm sure he can ball. Nah. What you mean, Robert Kelly with the cornrows can't ball? I don't think so. I mean, everybody had cornrows back in the day. Nah, you. If you had the straight backs, you was a baller, nigga. I had the straight backs, and I was still garbage. Javon, we we ain't talking about you right now. We we talking about other people. Allen Iverson, Rip Hamilton. Yeah, he was born in. Allen Iverson was born a cheat code. Hey, that's hey, that's neither here nor there. He had the straight backs, and his shits never touched his neck. So therefore, he you knew he could ball. If you had the straight backs and they didn't touch your neck, oh yeah, you catching bodies on the court. <laughs> that's why Rip Hamilton he won't he was so so because his shits was kind of he had a little hang time and shit. And then you got the Eddie Curry braids. Those yeah, now you garbage if you got them shits. But hey, then nobody fuck with Eddie Curry on the court though because he. He'll box you up. But Robert Kelly, nigga? <laughs> hey, see him on the court, pimp. Hey, man. It's none of my business. So, yeah, hopefully that's that's not true, but more to come on that. We'll find out further it's details. True. As, it's as true. He time. did it. He did that shit. Yeah. Look at him. He did it. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out further details as time comes along. So, let's talk about what's going on in April, though. So, April's a dope month. So, we actually just got back from Atlanta. Um, the Atlanta trip was dope. Um, I'm never going back again. I'll be back. but Yeah, Sharma sure, will be back. I'm not going back. Anyway, so, the, I mean, the city is super dope. I mean, it's, it's been built up quite a bit. I mean, the malls, are they're all dope from what I've seen. They got a lot. Hey. I didn't say a word. You couldn't even make it, man. I'm You're not. right, because I was sick. Because Atlanta clearly tried to take me out. Clearly. <laughs> Anyway, uh, while we're down there, uh, did some photo. Uh, she you know, did some photo shoots. I so did. That was super dope. Shot a music video. We did shoot a vi- music video. So that was that was pretty dope. That was interesting. And then we also did an interview with uh, K Simone. So that was dope too. It was so, all right. Hey man, using the background with an attitude the whole time. But I'm sick. I understand. So that I mean that was dope though. The Atlanta trip was dope. I'll definitely be back though. Um Atlanta's a beautiful city, like I said. Um I don't really have allergies, but my stuff was acting up, bro. My stuff was crazy. My nose and stuff. I was yeah, like, they yeah. was they was trying to kill niggas like they, they, this is a month of shit. I was I don't know what's going on in the air out here, man, but <laughs> I ain't rocking with it, bro. I can't I can't fade it. Yeah, so. they was really trying to kill Hey, they church is chicken out there. Oh yeah, that shit was fire. Whole nother level. I, t- I told you, bro. All the places up here, like Zach's the news got to step stuff, the fuck up, bro. Down south, that stuff is a whole different breed. The bro. lady told me at church is chicken out there. She was like, "Nah, baby, this chicken just display. We drop chicken fresh to order." I'm like, "Run me that shit." Display chicken. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, they got display chicken, but when you order the chicken, they drop that shit fresh. Everything oh, yeah. steaming hot. Oh yeah. Everything. Just let that settle real quick. Let they give you marinate. like they give you like thirty seven packets of hot sauce out there, bitch. Like for three pieces of chicken, they and know they, what time they don't it even is. Trip? They, nah, they all they care about is getting you to fuck out their line. That's it. That's all they care about. <laughs> That's facts. Not at Wendy's though. <laughs> oh yeah, that you won't get no Wendy's in Atlanta. <laughs> oh, they still stingy with the sauce. Nah, Wendy's no, their lines popping. just wrapped around. Wendy's <laughs> like, was popping out there every Wendy's. We put up on like two of them. Each of them was back like wrapped around. I was like, yo. <laughs> lady got lady got mad. You know how they country as hell out there. So she's like, um, we close at nine. I'm like, hey, what? I don't speak that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I, you got to show me on your clock what time that is because I don't know what nine <laughs> is. You you speaking a whole nother language to me. Hey, man, you got to relax. <clears throat> I ain't even do nothing. You got, ain't even do nothing, bro. Listen. Oh, you know what? I forgot to say something real quick about the Nipsey thing, man. It just pissed me off. Like, people were saying that it was military style. Motherfuckers out here don't even know all the branches of military. Yo, just relax. About military style. Just relax. Five in the body, one in the head. It's two in the chest, one in the head. Period. That's all. Hey, that's I all it was. Know. That's all I ever been. I wouldn't know. I'm just saying, man. I just had to get off my chest. I remembered. We I see. Had to, I had to throw it out there. We Pissed see. me off. We, hey, I was listening. Your boy. show. I was like, y'all some ignorant motherfuckers. This is your show. This is the internet, dog. You right, man. You right. I can't even get mad at the internet no more. I, hey, Shay said, shut up right quick. Like I said, I'm just there for What'd news. you say? Shay said, shut up right quick. Who? 
Shaya. She said, shut up right quick. You said, Shaya. With an S? You can't help it, man. I don't know. But, uh, so moving on. So <laughs> April, we got Game of Thrones coming out next. For that. No, is it? Yeah, next Sunday. It's next Sunday. Next Sunday. Boy, I'm hype as a bitch. <laughs> I'm hype as a motherfucker. I man. want every nigga dead. That's that's the only oh way I'll be happy. Yo. Everybody. Everyone? Everybody, nigga. Relax, man. If you if you had a main role, dead. Oh my god. I don't want you to breathe. It no ain't even more. serious, bro. It is. You got what you mean? What else gonna top last season? Hey, what man. else? All I know is they got the, the White Walkers got a dragon. That's all I know. They so, about to fuck these niggas up. So I don't know what you mean what else gonna top it. You already know some shit finna go down. I know, but I just off rip, I need a main nigga to die first episode. Gotta go. I hope, I hope Cersei's the first one to die. Cer- Cersei? Cersei's? How are you saying? Is name? that the queen? Yeah. Yeah, that bitch could have went five seasons ago for me, but <laughs> no, that's yeah, she gotta go. No, that's facts. Definitely. All her kids gone. Her her and her brother. Them incestory ass niggas. Both them niggas can go. Jamie not bad though. Nah, he fucking his sister. What you mean? He gotta go. Bro, outside of that, he's not a bad dude. What you mean? That's enough. That? Bro, that's got that bro. He's, you fucking bro, your he's sister out here saving lives. And having kids. Listen, bro, he should. He's out here saving lives. He out here lives. spawning half chromosome ass children. Like he should be saving Come lives. On, man, they were functioning perfectly. Were fine. they? I'm not justifying incest. I'm just saying that outside of the incest. You said that they were man. functioning perfectly? We're going to talk yeah. about that first bitch-ass son they had. There was nothing perfect about him. Yeah, he was a little mental. <laughs> a Very little? Mental. It's all good, man. It's a all lot good. of mental, nigga. But nah, Sick so, bastards. So Game of Thrones is coming out. Infinity War. <laughs> Endgame. Not Endgame. 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 Excuse hey, me. Three hours, nigga. Three hours, man. I'm all for it. And Reaction. if anybody finish off this nigga Thanos other than Thor, I'm walking the fuck out. Anybody else? I Cap- was gonna be Captain Marvel. Better not even get the final blow, <laughs> or I'm gonna cuss these niggas man, the fuck out. All I'm gonna say is it's gonna be Ant Man. That little bitch better not Don't do it either. Say this stupid shit, man. <laughs> it it has to be. It Don't has say to Ant Man climbing up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that shit. It has to be Thor. It has to be. I'm sick of seeing that, man. People are, oh, yeah. That man about to climb up his ass. And hey, Thor about, Thor about to hit like, them no, Captain Marvel just, cheeks. The internet y'all once, the internet once. Thor about to hit them Captain Marvel cheeks, nigga. That's what you think? I know. You seen how she looked at that nigga when that hammer came to his hand in that trailer? She thought she about to fade him. Yeah, she gonna fade him. All right. It ain't the fade that you think. Is she gonna part of be fade? Maybe. That, Wait, I'm sure third. Does Thor technically still have a hammer since Groot is gone? Well, yeah. He yeah. still got the... He still got the stem. The, uh, he still got the stem? Okay. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. That's why no, I was asking. it's Groot. Come on. Hey, Groot, Groot ain't there no more. Groot is the goat of all of these niggas. Groot, he will be yeah. back. You know what? Groot got turned into roots, man. He just... First of all, I don't ever disrespect my nigga like that again. I'm In God's honest, name, man. we pray amen. Both the Groots got mm-hmm. faded, dog. Don't do this. Hey, don't do this. I think Groot is the most faded Marvel character. Hold on, Is Vision got faded. Vision got faded twice no. in the same ten minute increment. Oh, it doesn't matter. You not bro. gonna do this. This nigga Groot. That's two three two. Times. He okay, died three times, nigga. Bro. One don't count. Like that shit don't. The snap don't count. That don't count. What you mean? It don't count. Bro. Everybody got faded with the snap Black except Panther, Vision. Though. Vision, he, he didn't even. Kill. He he didn't even get another sequel. Uh, like, come on, bro. Bro, first of all, Vision was killed before the snap, nigga. You right. So he got faded. Groot got mean, killed with the snap. He brought him back. It was like, nah, give me that. Yeah, die again, nigga. No, he died three times. Technically. So there you go. He's worse than Groot. Fuck him. Yeah, because he died three times in the same movie. In the same movie, nigga. <laughs> in the, I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, that's true. Don't Man. disrespect Groot, Why did they nigga? disrespect Vision for a whole like two Man, hours and 30 minutes? Vision. Though? But it's crazy because Vision was like mad strong up until this movie. When this movie he came, knew something was coming. Nah, bro. When this movie <laughs> came, bro, he just turned into a straight bitch. I was like, bro, no, it pissed this me isn't off. you, man. They had a full conversation that, yo, it feels like someone's coming. And what does he do? Hey, yo, you look real nice today. And what happened? Faded. Done. <laughs> Got his ass that's beat. Fast. For yeah, the whole true. movie after that. Nah, hey, you want to know, honestly, true. I knew they weren't going to do it, but they could have took Tony Stark ass for me, honestly. I'm sorry. Hell no. Nah. I fuck with, with, with Iron Man. I'm, I'm more on Captain America's side on things. I just, I just mm. fuck with this nigga a little mm. bit better. He's like the Tom Brady of Marvel. Like, you can't hate the nigga. All he do is win. Can't hate the nigga. Fuck Tony Stark. I mean, I'm I just hate saying. Tom Brady, though. You can hate Tom Brady, but you have to respect Tom Brady at the same time. 
When Tom Brady walks into your stadium, you know it's a chance he's about to beat your team ass. Whether he's cheating or not. <laughs> you know it's a chance of Whether it. Whether he's cheating or not. Whether he's cheating or not. You hey, know man, it's a chance. I mean, with that well philosophy, said. it's only cheating if you get caught. Exactly. It I is. can't believe this. No matter of fact, I take that vote back. Keep Tony Stark. Hulk, gotta go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he pissed me all the way off with this Gotta go. Oh. He's you awesome. a bitch for three movies, nigga? You three? about to piss me off. What he was a bi- he was a bitch in Ragnarok to me too. I'm sorry. Hmm? How? What you mean? How was he a bitch? Look at him. He just a bitch. <laughs> to be just, fair, he probably about to be a bitch in Endgame too. I'm sure he can't even transform. Like he's gonna transform in Endgame. Right? Is he? He's not gonna be a bitch. For Hopefully, when he heads. transforms, it's his last transformation. What was the last time you seen Hulk get faded oh, wow. one time and then bitch out for the rest of the movie? Thanos fucked that nigga because the Hulk's never been faded before. He was like, oh, this and is you, what a fade is like? I don't want and, it no more. And you think he gonna come back for the next movie? Nah, he don't want I no more he, that. He, he gonna come back, man. But then it's only he gonna be, again. Nah, nah, nah. He gonna be in the, he gonna be in the um, Hulk Buster suit, but Hulk gonna be like, nah, son, you got this. The it's Hulk Buster you. suit is busted, so I um, The Hulk Buster suit just let he me gonna know be in the Hulk this nigga Buster need to die. Suit. Who's who gonna who fix a Buster suit? I say he gonna be in the Hulk Buster suit. I mean, Hulk Buster is about to link back up with these niggas, so I mean. You think he gonna take the time to fix that? These I mean, niggas got the time to cinematically walk everywhere the fuck else, so why not? Like, because I mean, it's a movie. Which, exactly. So they got time. Why wouldn't they cinematically walk somewhere? It's a movie. Like, listen, these niggas got new uniforms and shit, so I'm sure he got time him. to design some other shit too. They're the Justice I, League now. Yo, I'm still mad. Their Spider-Man uniforms Man ain't ugly as his. fuck. I thought that was pretty decent. Do you? It looked like some Apollo 13 shit. They didn't need that. Yeah, they didn't need that. Like astronauts. Did Thor have one? I don't think Thor had that shit on. I don't remember seeing Thor. Because Thor won't with that bullshit. Oh, you a Thor fan? Mm, All Thor not really, that but entire movie was just his infinity and fatal. Yeah, his his Infinity War comeback scene. I'm like, you know what? That whole movie was a comeback scene. I kind of respect yeah. this nigga now. Nah, definitely, he definitely uh came from the trenches with that one, man. Yeah, he fucked them. Lost everybody. Up. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my revenge. He shot Thanos, kill Loki. He was like, hey, but when them niggas he got an eye from a raccoon's ass. He got Bro. a new hammer. He got an axe now, I mean. It was he only got right. the power of a son into his body to make a new hammer. Yeah. Like, and now he about to get a new bitch in Captain Marvel. Anyway, Endgame coming out April 25th. 5th. Well, 26th technically, but it'll be out the 25th. We already got our tickets. We will be there at 10.30 p.m. on the 25th of April. Don't eat your popcorn before the movie starts because I'm probably going to. I'm fucking Nigga, you got three whole hours, bro. You better preserve that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> better take three pieces per minute. <laughs> Not even. You probably gonna have to stretch out longer. A piece per minute. I'm gonna come with my popcorn up. I'm gonna make sure I get, make sure I get some rest before this movie. Oh yeah, cause your ass is in toys for sleeping on movies. Hey man. <laughs> Joey, don't start this shit tonight. <laughs> Yeah, if shit don't pique my interest, man, I will I will fall asleep. <laughs> I will definitely fall asleep if shit don't pique my interest. Yeah, no, I'll feel you on that, man. So after that, well, actually prior to that, we got Mortal Kombat 11 coming out. I don't know who else is excited for that. I'm definitely excited for it. Um, Mortal Kombat 10 was super dope, so I already know 11 is going to up the ante even more. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, Days Gone I'm definitely looking forward to that as well yeah, It's I'm a zombie gonna game that. I'm gonna get that And it's like a horde zombie game So you got all the zombies Like coming after you in the background You can interact with the environment And the environment is very destructible From what I've seen So it looks very interesting I'm excited about that too And then obviously We got something in the water weekend coming up Still waiting <laughs> on my goddamn wristband Yeah I ain't got my wristband either I'm about I'm to call these niggas I'm pissed, bro. I don't even know where my wristbands are. Man. Oh, first of all, China, hey, you better, better shut your ass up, China. I know you ain't talking about falling asleep. <laughs> she, China still can't even tell you what happened in the, in the us, so I don't know what she's talking about. Yo, chill. Yeah, China ain't about to piss me off. You don't got to do this. Nah. Hey, look, my fucking cousin is in here. Hey, Her you're not finna Tansy. have a loveless quarrel up here? Shut up. I'm shouting out my cousin Tanzia. She's a makeup artist and she's fucking dope. All right? Tanzia Langston, nigga. Never come do an interview, man. She lives in Jersey. But when she come down, I'll have her. You Thanks, know. man. No doubt. So we said, what's up? She can hear you. Oh, what's up? Yeah, she's on lock. There we go. And Larry Ooh. just joined in. Who? Larry. Who? Larry. I'm not about to attempt to say his last name. I'm not about to fuck it Malopo? up. Malopo? Yeah. Oh. Him. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? The man? tire guy. The <laughs> tire plug out this bitch. <laughs> anyway. 
So something wild is gonna be super dope. Definitely excited for that. Um, My nigga Chris Breezy, nigga. Yeah, Chris Brown pulling up one of the late entries. So that was super dope. Definitely excited about hey, that. Hey, when Ferg hit that stage, relax. I'm sweet chin music in the first hey. nigga. Don't say. No. What? It's Ferg. Nigga should know. So you go kick someone in the chin? Maybe. You didn't have to do that. We mosh pitting. It's Ferg. Oh my god. Y'all niggas ain't never been to a Ferg show? Nah, I haven't actually. I haven't either. Oh, 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 y'all niggas in for a treat, nigga. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's predominantly white people. And, and that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, relax. <laughs> relax, man. Hey, look, they're going, y'all, y'all up here too. It sounds like a fun time. It does sound like a fun time, man. I won't be partaking in any March pits. No, so. you will. I won't. It's a group thing. Uh, yeah, March pits typically are. Oh, so you gonna be on this Drake shit? Yeah, I'm gonna be in the corner in my feelings. Cute. I'm just chilling. But um Awesome. Did y'all have anything else that you want to talk about? I don't Perfect. have anything else. Um Jamal. Oh, I got some graduation packages coming soon for all these graduates coming up. Prom packages as well if they need them. Oh, for the uh, prom Photo pictures. Shoots, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, Highlight make sure y'all them. hop on that. Definitely hop on that. Make sure y'all get some dope pictures taken. Um, hey, I just want to let y'all know too. March Madness, I did it first, so just gotta throw that out there. Just saying. Seen a couple of March Madnesses going on, but it's kind of yeah. was my thing. But. It's all good, man. It's April, so. No, it doesn't matter. They missed it, the mark anyway. They didn't because it, it, they did it a couple of days ago. But hey, man, a couple of days ago it's still April, so. They were my headlights at. Uh, in transit. So, anyway, moving on from that, um, for the giveaway this week, we're going to be giving away a. Hey, oh, close your mouth. Bro. Oh, giveaway. Your mouth, yeah, it's, it's oh. giveaway time. Man. I haven't done a giveaway. You in haven't. A long time. It's been a while. It's been it's been a long time. So, for this week. What we're going to give away is an Amazon Echo. The full tower one, though. So you get the full tower. Hey, China, make sure you try to win this shit. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. But it's got the, the base, uh, like the subwoofer in there. It's got um, Alexa built into it, obviously. Uh, it's got a good sound as far as the speakers are concerned. Uh, anybody can answer. Basically, to enter into the giveaway, all you have to do is... Anybody? Anybody. So at the end of the giveaway, all you have to do is share the video. And then I'll mark your name down as a share. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's pretty much it. You okay. can share it on any platform, whether it's <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll or be tracking all, all of those. Or all three. The more the merrier. You get to answer more than once. So the more you enter as far as shares are concerned, the higher you are likely to win the giveaway. So make sure y'all do that. Hop Indeed. on that. Um, y'all got anything else that y'all want to add? Not at all. Javon? Hey, I do. You want to know somebody you should hit up for Who? an interview? Who? Um, his name is Rashawn Carter. That name sounds familiar. He's a funny guy, man. He does the Laquanda Live Time Show. So he's fucking hilarious, bro. Where's he from? Here. Duper News. He lives here, still? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He's fucking hilarious, bro. Well, we'll talk more. We'll talk more about that offline. But um, yeah. So make sure y'all. Check out the Shino subscription packages for the prom and not subscription. I'm sorry. Make sure y'all check out his promo packages for prom pictures and for graduation pictures. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the giveaway details posted online. If you are not watching this, basically, or listening to this. And then just keep an eye out for the next episode. That's all I got. Y'all got anything else? Y'all good? Oh, no, Javon, good. appreciate you for coming up. Here, bro. Yeah, Javon. Thank you for having me up. Dark yeah. Skin Niggas United. So if I junction oh, out. Yeah. Hey, make sure you get our fist bump in it. You always make me